Here's a quick thing about modeling I just wanted to show you. Create polygon cube. And I have it set up so it's already got a bunch of subdivisions. Now, if we delete an edge like this, double click, it goes all the way around, delete. It looks like we did a good job, but notice that red line and that red line, this one, this one, see it's in pieces. And the reason it's in pieces is because the vertices are still there, like that one, that one, that one, that one. So how do we get rid of those vertices? We go to Vertex, select all the vertices, hit Delete. Now, the only ones that will actually go away are the ones that had two lines leaving them. The ones that have more than two lines leaving them stay. So that means that only the bad vertices go away. So if we look here at uh, edge, notice those are solid red lines. They're not in two pieces anymore. Now you have to be careful when you're talking about flat sheets because the corners are vertices with only two lines on them, like this. Create polygon plane. Here we go. Pull that out. Now, I'm just going to move that because there we go. That line wasn't showing up quite as good. So um, if we delete an edge like this, it goes all the way across. I double clicked and went all the way across. Hit delete. Notice two pieces, two pieces. Um, vertex, same deal. There it is, there it is. So if we select all these vertices like this, notice I avoided the ones at the corners, and we hit delete. Here are the bad ones. We hit delete. Only the bad ones go away. What happens if we select all of the vertices? including the corners. Well, again, the corners have two lines only leaving them. So if we hit delete, the corners are going to get deleted and we don't want that. So you got to be careful when you're dealing with planes, but when you're dealing with solids, that's not the case. So you can delete edges easily like this. And then see that's in two pieces, red, 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 and then vertices, select them all, including the corners, because the corners have three lines coming out of them, so they're, they're cool. And then here are the bad vertices. Hit delete, the bad vertices are gone. Now, I, you know what I should have pointed out? Why, why do we care about the bad vertices being there or being gone? Okay, here's the answer, undo. If I hit three here, see how wiggly everything is? This is a problem, and it's a problem caused by those bad vertices exerting undue influence on the neighboring lines. So if we select the vertices and delete the bad ones, notice the ones that are left, now the lines are straight. So that's why we want to do it, because leaving those bad vertices behind creates problems down the road with the topology and the smoothing.